Okay, guys, tell me, because I have no idea what's about to happen. Yeah, okay, so our social guy, Kevin, put up a post on the protocol uh, Instagram. <laughs> right. Uh, asking everyone to drop all of the questions for you, me, right. and right, right. Adrian. And we got quite some questions. So are you ready, Nick, for I the Q&A, the protocol Q&A? I really wonder what people want to know. Uh, well, lots of different things. And I also uh, added a few personal questions because otherwise it's only about music. And oh. we also want to know you a little bit more personally, I think. I like oh, that. No. So, oh, no. Um, so the oh, first no. question <laughs> is for you, Nick. And it's from uh, Gekku. 3310G. Bam, what a name. So who do you look up to? Ooh, uh, that's a wide question. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think the first thing I'm going to say is probably my parents. Because I think it's really hard to uh, raise kids. And I believe I'm in, in a very lucky position where I feel my parents did a great job with raising their kids. Mm-hmm. Um, I see a lot of like kids going around now and I'm like, oh my God, you know. And I've been so lucky with the way they raised me. So I, I, I think that's really something to look up to. It's not easy. Wow. Um, so that's, yeah, I would say my parents in first place. And there are so many other people that I look up to. I look up to people that do sports, uh, people that have like a, a handicap and do sports. Um, I met a lot of those people on um, a place called Papendal here. Mm-hmm. And one of the girls' name is uh, Lara Bars. Yeah. She's a, a little smaller than, you know, than most of us. And she does like... Um, she does the Olympics on a quite a in like high level, mm-hmm. and she still is just killing it. And if I see that, I'm like, wow! Like we're we we, we count things for granted sometimes, yeah. and we yeah. take things for granted. And I think when I look at people who have, in my opinion, like a little bit of a, a challenge sometimes mm-hmm. in life, they don't see it like that. So yeah, I would I would definitely. There are so many more people that I could name, but these are the first ones to pop up. Oh, that's a wow. really 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 good answer. Yeah, really Didn't deep. expect that one. Nice, nice. Okay, so we have uh, another question. This one is for, uh, for Adrian, also a oh, little yeah. bit for me. But uh, what's your favorite Nicky track? Nicky oh, Romero wow. track. Uh, I think you know That's all his one. tracks, right? Yeah, I think so. I've, uh, I've been here for quite some time, yeah. so I know a lot of them. I think I have two tracks at this moment. I could be the one because I have very good memories of uh, the Avicii Tribute concert. Mm-hmm. And when Nick played that track over there, so many people were crying and singing along. That was... I can still get goosebumps while talking about it. Yeah, wow. And another one that's really special to me is Like Home because of the lyrics and the the, the vibe in that track. It really moves me. So I think cool. that those two are the biggest ones for me. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me it's also uh, I could be the one. Also, just I, I really, your... really like the music of Avicii. Yeah. And I have to say, your new song. This is also really the only one that she knows. <laughs> no, <maybe>. no, no, no. <laughs> I think Destiny is also going to be a big hit. I really, Thank really you, like yeah. that song. Yeah, that's cool. that's your newest track, I think, it's right? It's the latest one with Dennis yeah, Koyu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we worked on that one for a while. To, and actually, it took some time to get it right. Because most of the times when you write songs, um, you, you get to a point where you're like, okay, either I need to work on the drop or I need to work on the song. And yeah. with this song, we felt that the drop was already there. But the vocals, you know, the song was like the per- the drop was that good. The the, the chords were that good mm-hmm. that we felt that the lyrics were not matching the chords. Oh, so it took a while wow. in order to get the song that really felt like the quality enough, in, you know, that that worked well together. Yeah. So that was the it really challenge has with that Destiny. magical vibe. Like when you listen yeah. to it in the car, you feel like you're standing yeah, main yeah. stage, uh, yeah. middle front, you know, with with you feel all the, the energy. Yeah, you really feel the energy yeah. and the vibe. So that's yeah. uh, really one of my favorite. Che- tracks as well so moving on to the next question from Harm van de Heuvel Uh, Nick what would uh, be (laughs) your dream collab I've been lucky to be able to work with so many different artists from Avicii to David Guetta to Calvin Harris to you name it Um, I I got really lucky to Mm -hmm. work with such a big amount of people um, but if I would name one, it would I always say the same thing. It's Chris Martin of Coldplay. Yeah. I think Coldplay has something magical yeah. that not a lot of band singers uh, acts have. So if it's on me, I would say Coldplay, Chris Martin, 100%. So Chris, if you're listening, <laughs> call, call Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the Instagram studios. <laughs> yeah. Play Call of Duty with me. Oh yeah, yeah, that's also nice. Um, and uh, the... Uh, I for another question from the Fordster 97 what's your favorite city Nick 
What is your favorite city? If you have to choose a favorite city, like I know, for instance, what my favorite city is. You do? I can't. Because if I name one, I'm going to disappoint other people. Yeah, okay. And other cities. Uh, but I can Or is it Feenendaal, where you're no, from? <laughs> I love Feenendaal, but it's not for the same reason. <laughs> um, okay. Why do you love Feenendaal then? Because the studios are here. My oh, memories, yeah. my childhood, everything is here. Okay, okay, People okay. that I love. But to get back at the question, I would say definitely, um, I think Tokyo, I think Cape Town, I think New York, I think uh, Mexico City, I think uh, Santiago. Um, so many different yeah, ones. Yeah, but you've seen so much yeah, of the world. Yeah, there are so many different like good places. Yeah. Stockholm in Sweden is insane. Um, uh, I love Stockholm. Rio, Rio. Uh, in Colombia, there's I've been to Cartagena. There's just so many beautiful places. So yeah, yeah. I wish I could you just name choose. one. <laughs> no. Yeah, if, no. if I have to choose, but maybe like I live in Amsterdam, and still when I walk through the canals, I'm I'm like this is just the most beautiful city. Amsterdam in the is world. beautiful too. Yeah. Amsterdam yeah, why beautiful. didn't you mention Amsterdam? You're from the Netherlands. I think everything that you have already is not something you see all the time. Yeah. So for me, I, I got used to Amsterdam and because we are here so often, it's just, uh, it feels different. So I, I wouldn't name Amsterdam, but I, I agree because it, I still think that it is a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. There's just not so many Dutch people anymore in Amsterdam. Now it's <laughs> so people from quiet everywhere. in Amsterdam. Yeah, it's, it's so true. quiet and beautiful. Okay, this, this question, um, I'm actually curious too because once you had hair and the next moment I your don't. hair was gone and uh, Ayu Nikki Romero JPN uh, asks why did Corona make you do a haircut? <laughs> Corona oh. made me do it. Okay, yeah. I, I took off my hat for the ones who are watching on yes. YouTube and otherwise uh, tune in and, and check out youtube.com slash Nikki Romero TV if you want to see it. It's just because it was like a challenge. Like, would you, would you do it? Yes or no? I'm like, yeah, of course I'll do it. Whatever. <laughs> and actually, I never really knew about uh, how I would look without hair. You, you were never And I found hairless. out that I had like some sort of carves in my head yes. that makes my head look like I have some tiger striping. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, it's really part of my head. I, I have a feeling that my mom dropped me when I was young. <laughs> <It didn't really laughs> but uh, it is what it is. That I, uh, yeah, I let it grow back for sure, but I thought it was nice with Corona. This is the time to do it in my opinion, so. Yeah, and actually yeah. everyone here in the protest protocol Protocol studio uh, shaved sure there. his head. Yeah, Adrian, uh, Nils, not me. Kevin, Lisa's coming up. We can Nils. shave your head as well. <laughs> Everyone like. has yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to do a Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone has it. Guys, we have to move on yeah. time-wise. Yeah. Uh, so many more questions. Guys, we're going to answer them ASAP. Lisa, Adrian, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Music time. Back to the Protocol Spotlight. As you might have heard this one in the last few weeks. In my live streams, maybe in my sets, I'm talking about the brand new Corey James and Spider. Don't stop here. Protocol Spotlight. 